gentlemen, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, tumpongeze kwa makofi. Bada ya kula kiapo, Rais William Ruto na naibu wake Rigathi Gashagwa, wanakumbana na mchongomo kuteua baraza la mawaziri, ambalo litazingatia wa pambe wake, mikataba iliyowekwa na utenda kazi wa watakao ingia barazani. Tayari baadhi ya upambe wa Ruto wameshaanza kurusha ndoano ya kunasa nafasi katika baraza ili la mawaziri 22 huku viongozi wengine wakiwasi muungano wa azimio na kutua Kenya kwanza kupata kipande cha mnofu serikalini. Well um, I think you try to be very careful uh, to combine interest with ability because his main thing is to deliver on his promises and he cannot deliver on his promises if he has the wrong people <laughs> in the cabinet yeah? the wrong people in terms of ability capacity of course whoever he puts in the in the cabinet must have two or three qualifications one must be loyal to ruto mm -hmm. there's no discussion about that must be loyal two must be competent ability not a sycophant but somebody who can tell the president think something is happening something is not right and the president then should have that ability to listen and to good advice if he does not have that good uh, ability then uh, the cabinet will be just full of sycophants and nothing else uh, which is not good kulingana na professor mashari ya munene hali hii uende ikachangia baadhi ya viongozi katika muungano wa Kenya kwanza kujiuzulu katika viti walivyochaguliwa na kukubali mwito wa kuwa katika baraza la mawaziri and so you expect a few people to be considered wetangula is out because he's got a bigger job he's the speaker <laughs> yeah? uh, he delivered bungoma so he became speaker king is out because he's the speaker of the senate so those are already taken care of eh? in their own way and the other people who are in parliament who are likely to hold key po parliamentary positions therefore they do not have to be in the cabinet because they are needed in parliament to shepherd some things so he will take all those into account is this person really necessary to be in the cabinet or in parliament where is he more effective or better so some people will be left in parliament because they will be more effective there <laughs> in uh, supporting the Ruto agenda. Others, he might decide this person, I think in terms of delivering on some things, will be very good. Baadhi ya wandani wa Rais Ruto ambao huenda wakajiuzulu katika nyadhifa walizochaguliwa ni mbunge wa Garissa Township Eden Dwale, Seneta wa Elgeyo Marakwet Kipchumba Murkomen na mbunge wa Kandara Alice Wahome. So he has a big pool. The, the, the main thing is that he has a big pool. And after all there are only 22 slots <laughs> of uh, cabinet positions. Eh? And if he goes um, the Uhuru way behave like Uhuru, he creates assistant ministers. Only the constitution does not have a seat of ministers, but it does not forbid it. <coughs> See, that's the principle. If it is not forbidden, you can, you can do it. <laughs> if, if it's forbidden, don't do it. But the seat of ministers are not forbidden, although they are not provided for. So who came uh, with an ingenious way, call them CASs. <laughs> they are just a seat of ministers. <laughs> so there are a lot of people who, who can be made assistant ministers. But the minister, the CS, he needs to be very careful that he puts in people who perform. They are loyal to him and they perform and they have confidence in themselves and they will be honest with him. Ataivyo uchacho wa VTV 22 unamweka Rais Ruto katika njia panda kutimiza ahadi ya kuwapa kina mama asilimia hamsini ya nafasi katika baraza lake la mawaziri ahadi ambayo alitoa wakati wa kampeni ili kuafikia usawa wa kijinsia okay, most people of both genders would want equity mm -hmm. proper again yes that should be taken into account it should be very serious and there are a lot of good women around who qualify to be in cabinet and they will be in cabinet but the bottom line is don't put someone there just because she's a woman Again, competence. 
loyalty and then gender. But you don't start with gender. <laughs> and then, so you end up putting uh, people who have no business being there, which is wrong. There are enough women for him to find competent ones who are also loyal. It will be a tragedy if he puts somebody there just because somebody is a woman. <laughs> yeah? and it's a tragedy. But they are there it's for him to, to decide. It is a decision. Majina tofauti ya mepigio upatu kutuwa na fasti tofauti katika baraza la mawaziri zikiwemo waziri. Katibu mku na atawa kuwa idara tofauti serikalini. Kwa zawadi wendani wake, wakiyomo wale waliopoteza katika uchaguzi mkuu agosti tisa na fasi za katibu mkuu mtendaji ambazo zilibuniwa na serikali ya jubili katika tamu yake ya pili itampa na fasi zaidi Rais Ruto atalicha ya mahaka maku kwa ramisha na fasi hizo kwani hazipo katika katiba. Wale ambao wanatarajiwa kwa katika baraza la mawaziri la Rais Ruto ni kinaro ANC Msalia Mdavadi ambaye anatarajiwa kutui kwa jukumu la karani wa mawaziri aliyekuwa speaker wa bunge la kitaifa Justin Muturi na seneta wa Tharaka Nithi Kithure Kindiki. Magavana Salim Vuria, Josphat Nanok na Alfred Mutua pia wamezidisha ushawishi wao wa kutua katika baraza la mawaziri sawa na mwenyekiti wa chama cha UDA Johnson Mudhama. Alikuwa waziri Charles Keter na alikuwa mbunge wa Gatundu Kusini Moses Kuria pia wamo mbioni. Wapambe wengine wa Rais Ruto ambao anategea mnofu katika baraza la mawaziri ni Davis Chirchir, Dr. Belio Kipsang na Felix Koskei. Chirchir alitimuliwa katika baraza la mawaziri katika serikali ya jubili kutokana na madai ya ofisadi ila akarejea serikalini kama mkuu wa hudumu katika ofisi ya naibu rais. Although of course that does not preclude the possibility of appointing people in Azimio. Mm -hmm. No. Because even in the Azimio, there are people who are very competent and can be loyal. They can do a good job. So he wear all these things. And we, we've seen some of them uh, recently have been shifting gears. Eh? And they've been saying, you know, I, I, was, uh, I was threatened, so I had to be there. <laughs> I had to be there because I was threatened. My survival was threatened, whatever it is. And he take all those things into account. Mm -hmm. And there is something to be said about appointing somebody from the other camp because that person is competent. And it's known that once he's there, he'll be dedicated to the job and knows what to do. Hmm? That's the thing. Um, pretensions of party loyalty, just pretensions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> unless, unless you'll be taken into account, but they are not the deciding factor. Charles Nyachae na ale kwambunga nyaribari masaba Ezekiel Moshogu pia wanamezea mate na fasizo. Wale watakaote uliwa katika baraza la mawaziri watapigwa msasa na kamati ya bunge na iwapo wataithinishwa na bunge la kitaifa basi watelekea kula kiapo kabla ya kuanza kazi rasmi. Davis Mberia, Runinga ya Ebru, Nairobi.